Hi everyone, welcome back to my planet. My name is Rain and it is, what time is it? 7.42, so I'm headed off to Stater Brothers, but not only that, I don't know if I still have it on, I do. You can't see it. I have my name tag on, which means tire pressure is low. What does that mean? Oh, uh, can you tell I'm a mechanic? I'm, I'm not. I'm not. But um, yeah, so I'm just going home from my Weight Watchers meeting. Where did my little slip go? Oh, it's right here. Went home from my Weight Watchers meeting. Yes, it's another weigh in day update video. And exciting stuff. I mean, you guys won't be able to, but, um, why, why is my wiper going? It's not like turning off there. Okay. So I'm doing a live. Yes. Oh, are we still doing lean for Halloween? Yes, we are. Let me know how you guys are doing. We all set a goal, a numbers goal. This was a numbers goal. Some week, some weeks ago. And it was hey i want to be nice and lean for halloween you know put some buffer before the actual holiday season starts so um how's it going a lot of you set five pounds as your goal you might have set more you might have set less whatever it was how close are you guys to getting there how close are you guys to it let me know in the comments below how are you guys doing i need to pick me up yeah, this last week was a night, like a literal nightmare. Everything that could, I, I turned into another beast. Okay, so I was eating everything in sight. I don't like it like this, I like it like that. There we go. Yes, I was eating literally like everything. Ah, almost ran over that lady. I don't know what it was. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, so I was literally eating anything and everything in sight i was a bottomless pit i wasn't paying attention to portion control i wasn't mindfully eating anything i reached i went trick-or-treating at the office i ate all the candies that people had there yeah i ate my own sacks that were there a whole bunch of them like uh, it, it, it was a mess i didn't exercise i didn't do crap so i was expecting disaster when I got on the scale and should I wait? No, I'm not gonna wait. <sighs> Fast and the Furious, baby. <laughs> no, that car was like way far off. But yeah, so I was expecting disaster when I got on the scale this morning. And what did I receive? Hold on, let me get to the stop sign. I'll show you. Yeah. That's, that's what I received. Disaster. Now, when I saw this, like, I, I saw it coming, okay? I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I did wrong. And you guys might be like, hey, your thing's not falling down. What's going on? You're on a bumpy road. I'm going to say because <laughs> turns out I had to tighten it in the back. Yeah, I wasn't tight enough. So I tightened it. That's what I did. But, um, yeah, so... I don't know at that point it's like what was i saying i don't remember so i gained that and i saw it coming i'm not gonna sit here and be like i don't know i exercised yesterday and blah 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 i can sit here and say that but that's not true i saw it coming a mile away okay this isn't coming out of left field i saw this coming so i was prepared i was prepared and i had to get in the right mindset so yeah okay you're up three four five pounds in a week guess what it's normal it's gonna ha there's gonna be times it happens and you know what my body was hungry i was listening to my body and then i also realized one thing i realized so i ate i fueled it don't ever go hungry there are gonna be weeks in your journey and and if you've experienced this please say so in the comments and let people know they're not alone there is going to be time in your journey where your body is just insatiably hungry and all you want to do and all you're going to do is just eat. That's it. You're just going to want to eat. And you're going to eat and eat and eat and eat. And I, you know what? I'm here to tell you that that's okay. If you want to go 
there will be times where you just go off the rails and I have to say you have to honor your body and you have to let yourself go off the rails like that and you have to fuel and you have to eat because overall overall we are eating at a calorie deficit that's that's how we're losing weight we are obviously eating at a calorie deficit and at one point it's going to get too much for your body and your body is going to want food it's going to want to eat more and that's what's going to happen you're going to eat more you're going to eat unhinged you're going to eat I don't think I was eating wild. I don't think I was eating wild. I was eating enough to gain 3.2, but it's not like I was eating wild. And you're and that's there's going to be weeks like that where you're eating insane and you're not going to exercise and you're just going to give your body what it needs. But guess what? At some point that needs to stop because my initial thought was, what if I just start over Monday? Well, a lot of damage can happen during the weekend. I can eat a lot. I can eat a lot of calories. I can eat a lot of fat. I can eat a lot of sugar this weekend. And it won't just be a three point whatever gain. It'll be like a five pound gain. So you have to put that into perspective. So yeah, I can start over on Monday. But as a member in my meeting said a couple years ago, he said, why do we start over on Monday? Why don't we start over the next, the next meal? Start over, start over the next meal. Make the next meal calculated. Put in a game plan. So I'm starting over today. I have a fresh new batch of points today, fresh new weeklies. Everything's fresh. My Weight Watcher week starts over today. Today, I don't need to be eating like I was. I My body feels fine, you know? It's like, thank you for fueling me how you did. Now we're ready to get back into business. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I had my little binge week. So it was a binge, it was a binge. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go back to stop. Please do not drive. Those dudes are standing out there like shirtless and it's raining. Hello? I wanna be that level of fit, you know? I wanna be that level of a fitness freak where I'm just, you know, I'm in like shorts. And maybe not shorts, not shorts. But I'm standing there and I'm like, yeah, I don't care about the weather. I'm gonna, God. But yeah. So, and it's important at times like these to look at the NSVs. Uh, let me tell you, my jeans were feeling a bit tight. Yeah, I started wearing jeans again after a long time of not because it was hot summer. And now it's, as you can see, not hot and not summer. So I put on my jeans and they were pretty, they were tight come out and say they were tight the girl was struggling your girl was struggling so that's another sign that hey hold it down start doing your exercises again start eating right so that's what I'm gonna do because it's very easy to either quit or be like I'm a failure and get into that negative mindset and yes I'll be talking about this later in my live because I'll be talking about the shift book so and this is what a couple episodes ago during my shift book talks I was talking about talking to shift so or the book was talking about was that it's easy to be like to get in that very negative very dark headspace and where you're like you know what I quit I'm done this is BS nonsense I don't want to do this anymore done I'm done we don't want to get there no you have a flat tire what are you gonna do get out and put put a hole in the other three no this is where we contain it and I say okay yeah I gained 3.2 but all right it doesn't need to get worse it doesn't need to get worse and that's where I'm trying to put myself it doesn't need to get worse you just need to make a game plan that you're gonna stick to something small to start off with that you're gonna follow through the, this week and that's why I'm headed Ooh, farmer's market you know what the farmer's market doesn't have like stuff that I want though they don't have like great things so I'm going to head over to Stater Brothers right now. And what was the topic of the week that he was talking about in the meetings? So he started talking about Halloween candy and all these goodies that are coming up and how to handle it. And I like that he said this. He said, we're not not going to have these foods. We're not. We're not going to not have them. But here's, here's the information. A Twix, a mini Twix, five points. Doesn't mean don't have it. It means, okay, make a game plan. How are, how, now what? You know it's five points now what? How are you gonna budget it into your day? Are you gonna eat 
eat are you gonna earn those points through vegetables and exercise in your water and here's your five points you earn these points now eat the twix are you make a game plan so the location location matters i'll only have this at work or i'll only have this um at home i'm not gonna have it at work i'm only gonna have i'm only gonna have this particular candy what's your game plan for me going in looking at the upcoming season and it's important to have a game plan we're not starting over january for we're not gonna say oh well there's gonna be candy and treats so let me just start no because a lot of damage can be done but make a game plan my game plan every year every year is starbucks comes out with the little uh cranberry bliss bar and i love that to me that's gold i i love it i don't know how many points it is i don't want to know how many points it is please don't tell me but I have that and I have a nice little peppermint drink, whether a hot chocolate or a mocha on Sundays. And I have those and I don't track them and I eat them. Some people may say that's wild, that's insane. But guess what? I've been doing this for years and I've gotten to goal. It, it, it works for me. If you're sitting here and you're like, oh, that's not going to work for me ever, then don't do it. But that's what works for me. I set Sunday as my little treat day for the cranberry bliss bar and the peppermint drink that I'm going to be having. And I don't track it because that's going to mess with me mentally. And I enjoy it. And guess what? I've been doing this and I've lost weight. Does it mean I don't have peppermint bliss uh, or a peppermint drink any other day during the holidays? No, sometimes I will, especially with the macro barista. Follow him on Instagram. He has great hacks for these drinks and he brings those points down a lot. So, yeah, sometimes I will, especially if it fits within my day. Yeah, sure. But the cranberry bliss bar only once a week. I don't need it more. And it's something I look forward to. It's something great. And so, yeah, he was also talking about breakfast, but it's late now. So I'm going to go into Stater Brothers. Am I going to vlog? No, I'm not, babies. I'm not. I'm sorry. No Stater Brothers vlog. Because I just I just don't feel like it. What am I going to get from Stater Brothers? Get? How did I say that? Get from Stater Brothers. Let's make a game plan right here. So as you can see, the weather is pretty cold. That's one thing that's been affecting me too. When it gets this cold, I get hungry. So I asked a couple years ago on Connect, like people who live in states that actually get cold, how do you handle that? And if you do, please let me know in the comments below. And people were saying like, oh, I drink a lot of soups, a lot of hot drinks, and that makes sense. So soup, I'm going to go, I like the progressive soups. This, these glasses aren't good, so that's why I have this. So oh, I need to switch my glasses. But, um that's that's not good well that's really not good I need, I need different glasses because these are what's doing this so i need to get i need to maybe i'll get my backup glasses hopefully they won't be reading this i don't think those are made of metal but anyways so soup to keep me nice and warm i'm gonna get the one pat the one point hot chocolates in here yeah nestle has like a no non-fat or no no sugar or something uh hot chocolate pack and is it nestle i think so and that one's pretty good i don't like the swiss what is it swiss mess or something i don't like those i don't like that one but the nestle one is pretty good so i'm gonna get that and um what else is hot i don't know chili i don't know how to make chili let's start with soup so i'll have soup for dinner and then i'll have like maybe i'll get naan and the mini nuns and i'll have like soup and naan They're so good and that'll be nice i could make um i don't know what else i'm trying to think and then for lunch salads i could get a salad pack and then i'll put in chicken oh so good um i really don't know what i want for lunch this week <sighs> i'll wing it let me just wing it <laughs> so anyways thank you guys for watching this little rambling um i'm gonna be going live soon i need to finish the shift chapter i haven't yet i have like four pages to go Ooh, better binge read that real quick and i'm gonna go shopping so please like let me know how you guys are doing with lean for halloween challenge like subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you guys next time i don't know when now that i know that this won't drop maybe i'll do more car vlogs that'll be fun so i'll see you whenever bye guys